One waxing crescent and one waxing gibbous. Do the days, okay? Let's see if they match up the days. Can you put it beside it? You can just put it underneath the moon okay. that it goes with. Yeah, that's fine right there. It's good. Yeah. Sure. Under the name. Yeah, under the name. So I know you got some right here, okay? You put the new moon and the full moon in the perfect place. You got the first quarter and the last quarter in the perfect place. Uh, one, one thing is we have to look at your waxings and your wanings. So the sun's up here, so we're gonna go this way. So let's go back and check and see what happened in this one. So here's the sun here. There's the new moon where you put it. There's the full moon, first quarter, and last quarter or third quarter, which is good. Now we have a crescent here, a waxing crescent and a waxing gibbous. Let's see. We have to just move your waxing gibbous over there and move your waxing crescent over there. Okay. Let's see if your waning gibbous was in the right spot. So you had one on the waning side. What did I say? Waning gibbous goes here and waning crescent goes up there. Let's see what you did. Okay, so your waning crescent, you got your waning gibbous right. And then we just have to correct your waning uh, crescent. And then we'll look at your days, which is just good to kind of know that you got the first one in the right spot, and then we got to move these to here. So uh, what did you got? You got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's pretty good. Okay, you got five in the right position. And we just kind of started talking about this, so well done. And just try to remember the days go kind of like on the main ones. New moon. Right to left. Yeah. Every seven days, roughly, we change to the, the big phases. New moon, the, the first quarter, the full moon, and the last quarter. And then it goes back to the new moon. Good work.